Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University, and I'm going to explain Thunderstrike in about a minute. Eric Masterson's first appearance was in Thor number 391 in May of 1988, and he was created by Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends. Eric was an architect who was working in New York City, and he became friends with a construction worker on site named Sigurd Jarlson, who was actually the mighty Thor in disguise. Thor had long since been free of his Donald Blake alter ego, but when his friend Eric nearly died trying to help him, he beseeched Odin for help. Odin answered his son's prayer by merging Eric with Thor, much like the old Donald Blake persona. When Loki nearly killed Eric's son, Kevin, Thor seemingly killed Loki. Odin, enraged by Thor's actions, banished Thor, but he honors his son's request to leave Eric as a protector of Earth. Now Eric has the ability to maintain his own conscience when he turns into Thor, maintaining all of the Thunder God's power, but none of his combat experience. When Thor returned, Eric returned Mjolnir, and he was given a new Eru Mace, named Thunderstrike. Taking the same name, Eric Masterson became Thunderstrike, the everyman version of Thor. In this form, he was not as strong as his immortal counterpart, able to press upwards of 75 tons. His mace could replicate Thor's flight and dimension travel abilities, but rather than control the weather, it fired a beam of pure concussive energy that could even stagger the Juggernaut. He began learning how to fight with Captain America, but died before he'd gotten very far. His son, Kevin Masterson, took up the mace not long after, becoming the new Thunderstrike. Kevin seeks to uphold his father's heroic ideals of becoming the common man's superhero, and that's Thunderstrike, in about a minute.